So obviously one of the big uh, hot button issues in the country at the moment is immigration and border control and things like that. And we've seen so many protests taking place in areas like East Wall and uh, up and down the length and breadth of the country. Uh, what, what do you think of the government's response to the, the refugee crisis and the asylum claims that we've seen over the past year? I think the fact that the government are refusing to have an adult conversation about it is going to be the rock that they will perish on. Um, it is the it is an issue that is uh, it's bubbling away underneath, um, and everybody's talking about it. Every class within society is talking about it, and you know what the people are doing in East Wall um, and the protests that are happening there. Unfortunately, they have become more prevalent without the country because the government is refusing to open up the debate in relation to what is uh, our immigration policy in this country. It's not right. It's not working. Um, if the people think they're going to, if the government thinks that they're going to um, stomp on the people of East Wall, or indeed those that we would perceive to be working class or poor societies that we live in, I have a, I have a feeling that East Wall are going to win this one. The, the, the government are going to lose this one. I totally agree with what um, Senator Shannon has said. I have looked for a debate on this. I've questioned Michal Madden in the dawn. I questioned um, the president of the commission last week. But I, I mean, you're a pariah. They think they can have a, a kind of an echo chamber in the dawn. I said that yesterday, uh, looking for a debate. Everybody's talking about it because it's a huge issue of concern to all people. And we'll be branded racist, but we're not. It's the Irish of the Thousand Welcomes, and we want to help genuine refugees fleeing from war and persecution. But we see, when we see 3,150 coming from a country, you know, where you had 100 coming in 2021, and they arrive with no passports in this country, should we have to examine this? And he must couldn't leave this country tonight without a passport. So, I mean, what kind of patsies are we made out to be here? And it's because of Michal Martin and um, uh, Tarnish of Radical and Thomas Bourne and others who told them all, Look, come here, we look after you. We can take up to 100,000, 200,000. We can't look after our own. And I've said that. We have a cap on it, and we have protect our borders, take genuine people in, and moving busloads of men, single men, it's unfortunate for them too, to be put into a colonization like that, so many of them, into East Wall, into a commercial building in the dead of night. So what are they looking for? And they're kind of, the government and the authorities are stalking fear by doing that in such a clandestine manner. But... It's all about control and uh, changing the very nature and face of our country and our culture and our people. Um, I was just going to say, uh, last month in Spain, one of the bigger opposition parties is uh, pushing for a referendum in that country on immigration. And they, they were saying basically that Spaniards should be able to decide what the national immigration policy is for their country and it shouldn't just be kind of a, a diktat on the part of the government. Do you think that something like that would be appropriate here? Well, it possibly would be appropriate here, but what the government would do is set up a citizen assembly to get the answer that they want. And that is unfortunately what would happen. Look, the Irish people um, in last March, April, May, June, July, we all dug deep in every single community in this country. We all put our arms around those that needed help. There comes a time when you say, how much more can we give? What more can we do? We have 11 thousand uh, homeless on our streets we have 4,000 children Irish children in hotels now we have 72,000 Ukrainians also in uh, hotels in this country Catherine Day was talking about opening another eight direct provision centres when we want to be closing down the direct provision centres that are currently there so look at we really need to have an adult debate about this how we're going to solve uh, the immigration problem that we have in this country because I can tell you the people of Ireland will not stand for this much longer. Can I say you asked that we're going to have a referendum I'd love to have one we can't even get a debate in the Dáil Chamber I wrote to the business committee I raised it last week at the business committee I've raised it in the Dáil we're not even going to have a debate. So they're suppressing the, the elected representatives, me for the time being for temporary, and uh, anyway, it's, there's not many others to speak. Carl Nolan has indeed, and Michael Collins and others, and the rural independent group. But, I mean, they won't even allow a debate, so what hope we get in a referendum? They think they can control the people, corral them in. They tested this out, uh, they had a real dry run with COVID, and they controlled the people. And they think they can control them any which way they like now, with the help of the national broadcaster and the vast, vast majority of the media who all were bought off and getting well paid for the, 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 to, be, to push the government narrative 
full stop. No other, no other narrative can be entertained. We would be left near RT if you have a different opinion. So it's a sad state of affairs. We're celebrating the, the founding of our free state.